Hi guys, I'm Jessica Beck from All Ears English and the amazing podcast downloaded over 9,000 times a day called IELTS Energy, so check that out. Today, uh, I'm going to give you guys some phrases you can use to get higher scores on the speaking test for fluency and coherence, okay? Now, um, in natural speaking, just normal day-to-day -day speaking, I don't use a lot of high-level linking words, okay? It's just, it doesn't feel natural. Um, but Unfortunately, guys, on the speaking test, the examiner does listen for a variety of linking words, okay? If you only use phrases like and, and, because, because, I think, I think, I think, if you only use phrases like that and you repeat them and they're easy, okay, it is impossible to get a seven or higher for fluency and coherence, okay? The key there is linking words. You have to have a variety and a range, okay? So today I'm going to give you some awesome, excellent, interesting phrases that will not only help you impress the examiner in your fluency and coherence scores, but also for vocabulary, okay? All right. Uh, when you introduce an answer, um, you can use some more formal phrases like, in the first place, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You could also, when you're introducing another reason or another idea, you could say in, in the second place. That's fine too. But when you're beginning an answer, say in the first place, da da da. Another really awesome phrase to use on any part of the exam, parts one, two, and three, um, you can say, this is a native speaker thing, you can say, put it like this blah, blah, blah. So if the examiner says, um, how often do you exercise? You can say, well, let's put it like this, not as often as I should. <laughs> so again, you're fulfilling that interesting vocabulary requirement for a seven or higher, and you're also introducing, organizing your ideas in a native speaker interesting way, okay? Um, when you're introducing your opinion in speaking part three, try to use more formal phrases, just like you do in writing task two, all right? So phrases like, I am of the opinion that, blah, blah, blah. Um, to my mind, in my mind, blah, blah, blah. I firmly believe, blah, 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 okay? All of those phrases, those four phrases I just said are excellent to use in speaking part three because a lot of candidates just use say I think I think I believe I believe okay so set yourself apart be unique make the examiner notice you that you deserve a seven or higher okay so those are phrases for introducing opinion um, if you're introducing another example or idea you could say um, secondly of course or in addition moreover Furthermore, you could also say a phrase like, yet another example of this is, or yet another reason is, okay, that yet another example of this is. Just that phrase shows amazing vocabulary and organization and grammar. Okay, so these phrases fulfill a lot of things the examiner is looking for, okay? And a really cool way to summarize a long answer, for example, in speaking part two, or if you feel like you talked for a long time in speaking part three, <laughs> you could say, yeah, so that about sums it up. That's what I think. Okay, so that phrase, yeah, so that about sums it up. Um, and if you say it like I do, then it's also hitting that seven or higher for pronunciation because you have that natural stress and rhythm. All right, so I'll give you some advice, guys. Watch this video a couple times or more than a couple times, several times. Write down these phrases. Practice using them in your own IELTS answers, okay? And guys, these these recommendations today, they're very specific and they're directly linked to what the examiner is looking for to give you a seven or higher on speaking, 
All right. For more tips, tricks, and advice, please visit our website ielts.allearsenglish.com and try out our IELTS preparation course, Three Keys IELTS. That's all for me, guys. Have a wonderful day.